Hi friends, welcome to the video lectures on technical thing. Coming to the question number 141. What will be the output of the following program? So float A has taken 12.4, 2.3, 4.5 and 6.7 are the values. So now the question is uh, here printing size of A. A means it is totally an array. What is the size of A? How many values I have taken here? 4. 4 values for each one it is a float that's why 4 bytes. So 4 into 4 totally 16 bytes will be taken for an array. So size of A if I ask you the answer is 16 here. And size of A of 0 means only A of 0 it will take only the first value. So for the first value A of 0 how many bytes? Only 4 bytes. So for each one it is 4 bytes totally 16 and for only A of 0 it is 4 bytes. If I ask you only A of 1 that is again 4 bytes. So our answer will be 16 and 4. So option A is correct. Anyway, it will print only 16 and 4. So just for understanding purpose, I have given here as bytes. So answer will be 16 and 4. Coming to the question number 142. So int value is equal to 11 it is given while value minus minus plus 2 is here it is given semicolon. That means of course this printf statement independent of this while loop. After the execution of while loop, then only printf statement executes. That means the condition inside the while is false, then only printf statement will be executed. So we'll see how it will be executed. So value of the value will be 11 first. So 11 minus minus plus 2. So which value will be taken to the condition? That means first it will take 11. 11 plus 2, what is the value? 13. Now anyway, while that condition means what is the condition value? If it is 0 comes out of while, if it is non-zero again takes the while only. So first 11 plus 2, 13, non-zero and after that the value will be decremented. So value will become 10. Anyway here 11 plus 2, 13, yes, non-zero. That's why semicolon, that's why again going to the while. What is the value now? 10. So 10 plus 2, 12. The while condition value is 12. So after taking 12, the value will become 9. Why? Because value minus minus. Here first value plus 2 will be taken. After that this minus minus will be executed. So 9. So anyway 12 is non-zero. Next value will be taken. That is value is equal to 9. 9 plus 2. I am writing here 11. Previous first it is 13. Next it is 12. Next it is 11. 11 plus 2. 11 now. So 11 is non-zero. Yes true. Of course, val minus minus 8 here. Next, value that is 8. So, 8 plus 2, 10, non-zero. Again, it goes to the while loop and the value is 7 now. Next, 7 plus 2, 9. So, again, non-zero. Next, it goes like this here, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 3, 2, 1 also it goes and of course, 0 also it goes. What happens when value is 0? 0 plus 2, 3. Now 3 is non-zero, yes, but value will be decremented by 1. Now minus 1 plus 2, what is the value? Plus 1. Now plus 1 means minus 1 plus 2, that is plus 1. Now again plus 1 is non-zero, yes, true. Now the value will become minus 2 minus 2 now you can see here minus 2 plus 2 value is 0 here now it has to come out of the value but before coming out of the value value minus minus has to be executed now so it will become minus 3 so value will become minus 3 now you can observe it comes here now what is the value minus 3 here it is 0 that while condition value is 0 that why comes out coming out value minus minus will be minus 3 now what you are printing value that is minus 3. So the output is countdown is is minus 3. Option B is correct. Of course when value is minus 2 then it is coming out of the while loop but after coming out value minus minus will be executed that's why this value will become minus 3. Option B is correct. Coming to question number 143 as defined max the value of max is I have taken it as 2. Now enum enumeration, data type enumeration has taken bird, the values sparrow is equal to max plus 1. So it will become what 3? 
parity is equals to if i don't assign anything of course the next value immediately it will become 4 actually if you don't assign anything for parrot why because previous value is 3 the next value will be taken but here parrot equals to max that means 4 is replaced with max value that is 2 what is the parrot value 2 will be taken successfully now int main enum bird b b is an object that is created which is equals to parrot what is the parrot value 2 so the value of b is 2 so you are printing b so the output will be 2 directly there is no error here so answer D option D is the correct one coming to the question number 144 which of the following statement should be used to obtain a remainder after dividing 3.14 by 2.1 how to divide 3.14 by 2.1 actually so 2.1 into 1 yes you can take 2.1 into 2 can I take no if it is 2.1 into 2 means which is 4.2 crossing this one so 2.1 into 1 it is 2.1 so 2.1 0 so the rim difference is 4 here 0 here 1 so actually 1.04 should be the answer but when you get if I write 3.14 percentile 2.1 when you get the answer no why because this percentile in C will work only for integers it won't work for floating numbers can you get this one mod f no so there is a function for remainder to get for even for floating values also that is f mod function so this is the correct answer option c if you write f mod 3.14 comma 2.1 so it will divide like this the remainder you will get it as 1.04 successfully here so the function you can use for floating point numbers when you want to get the remainder that is f mod so whereas percentile to get the remainder only for integers to get even for floating point you have to use f mod this will work out successfully for remainder for floating point numbers so option c is correct answer so question number 145 so in domain i have taken int again main here but here you can observe the difference between this int main and this int main there is a main followed by open brace close brace here you don't have and even you can remember that main is not a keyword so you can use that word main as a variable so here main is a variable simply you will write int a int b something like here i have written int main so main is a variable i can use because main is not a keyword so main equals to the value is a 5 main plus plus now the value of main will become 6 so print of percent daily main what is the value will be printed 6 it will print successfully it is not at all an error so the option C is correct the run without any error and it prints 6 so option C is correct so we'll see some more questions in the next video lecture thank you